in all seriousness. I'll give you a, maybe a couple. One for you. One for me. Oh my kitty. It's all for me. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. <clears throat> you can see why you're a fat fuck. Mm. Every fucking time. I don't want any of that. Wake up! What the fuck? Damn you! Damn you! You're fond of my milk and cookies, aren't you? How dare you drink my milk and eat my cookies? I was hungry. Fuck! You eat my cookies and drink my milk. You drink it all up. On tonight of all nights, my night. Do you know how long I've been doing this for? Hmm? Two thousand thankless fucking years, and this is how I'm paid. Parents taking credit for my work, my night becoming commercialized by those capitalist dogs, and you drinking my milk and eating my cookies. Do you know the constant stress that I'm under? I am working day in and day out, 365 days every fucking year to make sure Christmas is perfect for all the little boys and girls. I mean, God forbid I want to break every now and then, but no. I mean, Mrs. Claus getting at me every time I drag snow into the bloody house. The elves wanting to unionize. I mean, what the fuck is that about, huh? They're elves for fuck's sake. And don't get me started on Rudolph. <sighs> Fucking red-nosed cunt. <sighs> I've had such a fucking rough week. Oh. I was, um... <sighs> I was working late in the workshop, yeah. And um, just as I was about to, just as I was about to close shop, I heard a, heard a commotion. And 
I uh, I went to the far side of the shop and where the toys are being made, and there I saw was Mrs. Claus in a state of undress with Tripod Tom, one of our elves. I got dick for days. I mean, I didn't know what was happening, man. I thought I thought Mrs. Claus and I were good. We're going through couples counselling. I stopped plowing the reindeer. <sighs> I guess that's what you get for wishing everyone a merry fucking Christmas. <sighs> this is for Mrs. Claus, you fucking prick. <laughs> you better fucking think twice before you cross me again. Because the next time, you're not going to get coal. You understand me? You're not getting coal. I'm going to tie you to a chair and I'm going to kill your family in front of you one by one. And if you think that's bad, you should see what I'm going to do to your dog. Because that's going to be the Christmas you're going to get next year, buddy. No more naughty and nice list for me. <laughs> hey, look, there's something on your face. Let me get that for you. <laughs> Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Bitch, I'm a monster!